Stage 2 locks load is closed out. Falcon 9 is on internal power. Falconize and start up. Go for launch. Minus 15 seconds. Falcon 9 is the flight pressure. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. We are one minute and seven seconds into flight, and as you can see, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off. Coming up next, you'll hear Max Q. The vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. And as you just heard, the vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. That's the point at which the stresses on the Falcon 9 are highest than they are at any other point during the flight. Back engine chill. Everything is looking nominal right now. Now coming up, we're gonna have three events happening in rapid succession. The first is MECO, which stands for Main Engine Cutoff. That is where all nine of the Falcon 9 first stage engines will shut down. That'll be followed by stage separation. That's where stage one will separate from stage two. And then we'll have SCS-1 or second engine start one. That is where that MVAC engine, that, vac, that Merlin vacuum engine on stage two is going to ignite and carry stage two onto orbit. We hear that MVAC chill is looking good. That's where we bleed a little bit of that super cold liquid oxygen into the engine. Set shut down. Miko. Stage separation. And as you can hear by the applause and see on your screen, we've had a successful stage separation and ignition of that second stage MVAC engine. Now coming up in about 25 seconds, we're going to have fairing deploy. 
So those fairing calves are going to split away from stage two and make their way down to Earth. And stage two will continue on with the Mira Petit satellite onto its parking orbit. In fact, D had a really solid startup, and all of the temperatures are looking really good. The burn is going nominally right now. just saw we just had a successful separation of that fairing once we get into the vacuum of space we don't need it anymore so we get rid of that extra second mass and as you just heard second stage is on a nominal trajectory now they're going to be two stage two burns for this mission the first is this one that is taking the spacecraft to its parking orbit that position of once Bermuda. it shuts down it'll coast for about 18 minutes before relighting over the equator to raise Mira Petit to its deployment orbit the geostationary transfer orbit now, while stage two is doing its job, stage one, it's making its way back home down to Earth. Now, it's going to execute two burns. The first is the entry burn, which is coming up in about a minute and 50 seconds. So the first stage is traveling at roughly 2,300 meters per second. And what this three-engine burn is going to do is assist gravity in rapidly slowing the stage down. If we didn't do that, it would overheat and it would break up. This slows it down and protects it as it enters the Earth's thicker upper atmosphere. Now, the second of those stage one burns is called the landing burn. This is a single engine burn where we light that center engine E9, and it brings the vehicle's velocity down rapidly from about 250 meters per second to about two meters per second in order to gently land the rocket on the Jones ship. Now, stage one landing should occur just a second or two following states, uh, second stage engine cutoff. So it's going to be a lot happening all at once, so watch closely for this next series of events. Now we're about 50 seconds away from that entry burn, but just note that once we recover this booster, we plan to fly it a third time later this year. As mentioned before, this is possible due to those Block 5 upgrades, which brings SpaceX closer to its goal of full and rapid rocket reusability. We're getting close to that entry burn right now. On the right, MVAT continues to burn nominally, and there we go. That entry burn has started. Stage one of the entry burn. Stage one entry shut down. It is. Stage two continues to follow a nominal trajectory. So as you just heard there, stage one entry burn has concluded. Stage two is still looking beautifully. We're gonna have that landing burn, that last and final burn on stage one. It's gonna begin at about a minute or so. And then as I mentioned earlier, just a couple seconds after that, we're gonna have Seco one stands for second engine cut off one. Stage one transonic. Falcon 9 is in terminal guidance. So while we may have lost the view of the drone ship, sorry, the view of stage one, uh, we did get the call out that stage one FTS is FTS. transonic and it's making its way on down to the drone ship right now. 
So hopefully we'll get that camera view back. Stage one landing burn. Landing burn has begun. Let's see what we get. the video right there but hopefully we will get that down. back <laughs> hopefully but we have heard that we've had a successful second engine cutoff and that stage two is in a good orbit uh, hopefully we can get a view on that drone ship if everything stabilizes but if not uh, we'll give you an update on the, the status of the first stage engine. once we get it uh, what we're hearing right now is that stage two is in a good orbit it's in its nominal parking orbit and so what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a little break you can hear, we got it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> this is the second landing of this booster. Landed successfully on board. Of course, I still love you. It's a great shot right there. Meanwhile, second stage is in a good orbit, as I mentioned before. It's going to continue to coast, and we're going to take a little break here and come back at T plus 26 minutes for second stage relight and then deployment of the Mira Petit satellite.